While Patrick Roy stayed well away from the forum, his teammates went back to work. The drills made this practice look like any other. But players like Captain Mike Keane said it was strange without Patrick Roy. It was just a, a very uh, a very difficult feeling today when, when he wasn't there uh, stopping pucks for us. Well, he's our friend, first of all. I mean, he, that'll never change. I mean, the guys have great respect for him. and uh, He's a super guy, and, and uh, you know, we still don't know what happened. I mean, I don't know if he... You know, I still think he wants to be here, but, uh, you know, it's just turned out that, it, you know, things couldn't get worked out. While all the players have their share of extra pressure on them with Roy gone, the spotlight is on Pat Jablonski. Unless a trade is made, he's the one who has to play nets against New Jersey and Pittsburgh later this week. He'd like to prove he's good enough to be the number one goalie. If they feel I can do it, then they won't go out and get another goalie. Just six weeks after general manager Réjean Oul and coach Mario Tremblay took over this team, they have lost their marquee player. Ultimately, the man who hired them, President Ronald Corey, will have to answer for what happens over the next few months. It's hard to see that uh, didn't work, you know, uh, like I was maybe expecting it to work. I mean, it's, uh, I know one thing, I pick in, uh, in Reggie Hull and uh, Mario Trabli, two guys I, I believe very much in them, and I know they'll do a great job. The media grilled coach Mario Trabli about how he handled the Roi situation. Yesterday, Roy said he was humiliated in the game against Detroit. Tremblay says that's the last thing he wanted to do to his star goalie. I didn't want to put Patrick out during the game, during that period. I prefer to wait after the second period in the dressing room to tell him, Patrick, I'm going to put Pat Jablonski in the net. Both Tremblay and Roy have been vague about rumors of bad blood between them. Tremblay says that's because hockey people don't air their dirty laundry in public. Because I believe the organization, the coach, we all open. We all open to talk to the media. But in the dressing room, I'm not the one who's going to say what happened in the, in the dressing room with Patrick or somebody else. What's going on in the room, for me, has to stay in the room.